Let's look into a study published in 2021 in the National Library of Medicine. PubMed is an official United States government website, so hereby the information source is confirmed and validated. The name of the study is Berberine as a Potential Anti-Cancer Agent, a Comprehensive Review. Berberine, a potential bioactive agent, has remarkable health benefits. A substantial amount of research has been conducted to establish the anti-cancer potential of berberine. The present review consolidates information concerning the promising anti-cancer activity of this compound. What is berberine? It is a well-known phytochemical compound extracted from the roots of various plants such as berberis vulgaris. It is a crystal yellow colored alkaloid traditionally used in Chinese medicine. Recently, scientists have reported that berberine possesses broad-spectrum therapeutic potential due to its action against various ailments such as diabetes, hypertension, depression, obesity and inflammation. Scientists have reported berberine as a promising drug candidate in treating cancer. How does it work? Berberine prevents cancer cell proliferation by inducing apoptosis and controlling the cell cycle as well as autophagy. Berberine also hinders tumor cell invasion and metastasis by down-regulating metastasis-related proteins. Moreover, berberine is also beneficial in the early stages of cancer development by lowering epithelial mesenchymal transition protein expression. Despite its significance as a potential promising drug candidate, there are currently no pure berberine preparations approved to treat specific ailments. What cancers does it affect? This study looks into the effects of berberine on the following 13 cancers. Breast, colon, pancreatic, gastric, liver, oral, bone, glioblastoma, skin, uterus, endometrium, prostate and thyroid cancer. I am not going to analyze all these cancers separately. Those interested can look into this study. The study concludes, and I apologize in advance for my potential mispronunciation of some difficult medical terms. I do not include these to play smart but I want to give the full uncut conclusion respecting the authors of the study. Cancer is a large category of disease that severely affects people's health. Thus, there is a vital need for cancer prevention and treatment advancement. Surgery, radiotherapy and chemotherapy are the most often used approaches to cancer care. People may also abandon anti-cancer treatments due to their ineffectiveness and adverse side effects resulting in the illness progression and reduced overall survival rate. Resistance to anti-cancer drugs may be confirmed by target alteration, drug efflux pumps, increased cellular tolerance to apoptosis, increased DNA harm tolerance to therapy, reversibility and enhanced neoplastic proliferation. Resistance may be due to improvements in the stroma and tumor climate as well as cancer microenvironments. Cancer cells utilize a number of these pathways, complicating clinical strategies for each patient. Recent advancements in cancer care such as selective and immunotherapy also provided substantial benefits. However, during the last decade, several clinical studies and lab analyses have been conducted to investigate the efficacy of berberine in curing cancer. Additionally, berberine was found to control pro and anti-cancer miRNAs and LNC RNA levels and has been shown to improve the effectiveness of chemotherapy and radiation therapy. However, 
berberine's direct cytotoxic impact is not considered very powerful. It acts at concentrations sometimes greater than 100 micromoles for certain cancer cell lines. Nevertheless, the cytotoxic action of berberine is moderate as it ranges from 10 to 100 micromoles. Berberine's slow absorption, efflux from intestinal cells by PGC and comprehensive metabolism by intestinal and hepatic cells render difficult its use in vivo. Consequently, progress must be made on developing both the pharmacose kinetic profile and the anti-cancer efficacy of berberine in the future. As berberine shows promising efficacy concerning anti-cancer potential, it may be a potential candidate in innovative anti-cancer drug discovery. Thank you for watching. Consider liking and subscribing if you found this information useful.